mid possibly high 30s, potentially record-breaking temperatures by the time we get to Tuesday. One or two spots, potentially 38, 39 degrees as well. So temperatures like that, we don't see them very often here in the UK. They are going to cause some significant disruption. Do make plans for Monday into Tuesday. We could see those temperatures near 40 degrees in a few spots. Thundery breakdown at last on the way by Wednesday. Bye-bye. Welcome to Newsday. Reporting live from Singapore, I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. <laughs> Celebrations on the streets of Colombo as Sri Lanka's president Gotabaya Rajapaksa resigns following days of mass protests. <laughs> Russian forces extend their reach into western Ukraine as cruise missiles hit business and residential buildings far from the front lines. This attack happened right in the middle of a beautiful morning here in Venezia, when people would have been out and about and would have felt safe. But nowhere is safe in Ukraine anymore. And President Joe Biden pledges that America will use all its power to prevent Iran from ever getting nuclear weapons. Live from our studio in Singapore, this is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's 7 in the morning here in Singapore and 4.30 in the morning in the Sri Lankan capital, Colombo, where celebrations have been taking place after Gotabaya Rajapaksa became the country's first sitting president to quit. He did so after months of angry protests over the rapidly rising cost of living and shortages of food and fuel. 